follow along with me as I take you on this several day journey to clean my house, get ready for house guests, and get my life together. <laughs> I feel like Macaulay Culkin in Home Alone. Pray for me. Roll the tape. Hi, welcome to the vlog. Let me get the housekeeping out of the way. If you like this video while you're watching, let me know. Thumbs up comment, like, subscribe. Please commiserate with me because right now life is so hectic. I'm trying to figure out exactly like what planets are in retrograde to cause the mess that is life right now. So anyway, let's get into what's happening right now. So we're changing the office. I don't know how much I've shown you of my office. I feel like I haven't really shown you that much. I've been filming a lot in my bedroom, but changing the whole office setup. Mis abuelos están visitando pronto. So with my grandparents visiting very soon at the end of this week, I need to make sure that I have beds out for them to sleep in. So I'm bringing in some twin beds from the garage it's just a full house so currently we're in the shared office space for my partner and myself and i think i'm going to be able to fit in these two twin beds like in a really weird dorm arrangement we'll see we'll see how that works out we're going through plumbing issues so <laughs> Just living, laughing, loving. I'm in dire need of laundry. I washed my hair last night. I was able to manage that. As you can see by my lion's mane. This vlog, I'm going to be getting things ready and you're going to see it. Come along with me. And my plan is basically to get schoolwork done. I need to film and a lot of home projects. And I'm probably going to do my nails somewhere along there. I've got my face on. The water person from the city came. They may or may not have just paved over the manhole that we need to get into. It's just absolutely delightful. It's just so delightful. I don't know how, why, I don't know. Anyway, let's talk about this face. I'm kind of loving it. I've been trying to figure out my whole camera situation so I hope you like the wide angle lens I kind of like that you can see a little bit of my mess but yeah that's everything for empties that are gonna come soon so um, I've got to film that so here is the look um, I'm wearing these cute earrings from Target adorable. I feel very put together. I'm about to do a ton of manual labor. I'm going to be feeling myself. So yes, let's talk about some major interesting, well, let's talk about some fun makeup things that I'm really loving right now. So I tried out this new sunscreen right here from Tacobo. I'll have to link where I got it from. So far, it's looking really nice. I'm loving this brow and this lip gloss is the Milani Fruit Fetish Lychee Nectar situation. So cute. Let me show you more. This is the new sunscreen I'm trying out for the first time. I really like it. It's a very nice texture. This is really similar to the Nivea Watery Essence. I'll have to pop a picture of that. It's very similar to that, but this one seems to have a little bit more slip to it. I'm really liking it so far, so I'll have to keep updating you. These two fun brow products. So I got the Ulta Beauty Brow Gel, Clear Brow Gel. I'm obsessed with Clear Brow Gel. I got this on recommendation from my sister. She has the prettiest full brows and she used this to style them. Obsessed, so I've been using this. But this is the game changer because this is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Boost and Set Volumizing Brow, Ma Brow Mascara. 
I have the shade Brunette, Brunette, and um, let me see if I can show you the thing. This is how tiny the wand is. It's so small, super small, and I really like that. It just adds a tiny bit of color to my brows, and it doesn't even really do anything. Like, it just looks so good. The Milani Fruit Fetish. This is the, the new line of the Fruit Fetish lip oils. So this is from their Nude Color Collection in the Lychee Nectar. This is basically like a jelly gloss. I love it. It looks so pretty. It looks so expensive. Honestly, I would think that this is a luxury lipstick. I would have, if I saw someone else wearing this, I would be like, oh my gosh, like, I would just assume that they were wearing some sort of Chanel lip gloss balm situation. And then my lashes have been looking super cute because I've been using the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift mascara, which I find to be a little bit flaky, but I do like the wand for separation. And I've also been using the Maybelline Falsies Surreal Mascara. Really liking this combination together. I think it's just been making my eyes look so bright and wide and my lashes have just been so fluttery and pretty. The NARS bronzer, I'm obsessed. I'm still in love, I'm still obsessed. Laguna 01, let me show you the damage. This is what it's been looking like. It's been much more poked at because I've been using my Duo Fiber brush. Make sure to check out my Salt Lake City travel makeup bag video and where I talk more about this. Ugh, loving it. So now I'm all ready for the rest of my day. I'm going to work more on the office. I'm going to try to get this dining table situation sorted out. Um, I'll just speed up the clips. You'll see me do a bunch of stuff. So yeah, while I'm doing that, I'm listening to and watching the Juicy Scoop podcast, Juicy Scoop with Heather McDonald podcast. I'm absolutely obsessed. I'm going back and watching a ton and ton and ton of her older podcasts, and I'm still enraptured, even though a lot of pop culture topics, entertainment news can go kind of stale quickly. I'm loving it. I'm laughing. I'm loving it. It's just absolutely hilarious. Definitely check it out if you haven't already. If you're a Juicy Scooper, please be friends with me. I'm also a Juicy Scooper, so it's just so much fun. So anyway, yeah, let's get to the real work today. <laughs>
It's another day. It's the next day. I haven't filmed hardly at all. Right now it is 6.30 in the evening. So much has been done. I moved a bunch of stuff out of my bedroom into the office space that I need to reorganize, but I, I am planning on doing that later. I did four loads of laundry at the laundromat. Thankfully, it was so fast. I love that about the laundromat. I have been having... I know I've mentioned in this video, I'm well, I'm pretty sure I, ugh, we're having plumbing issues. I don't know if I've mentioned it already. I might have mentioned it like 70 times already. I don't know. But with the plumbing issues happening right now at our house, the laundromat came in so clutch. And honestly, I went to the best laundromat in all of Indiana. So fortunate. Anyway. I just love that place. So right now I'm in the Goodwill parking lot. I don't know why in my head I thought I was going to get this like cute shot where you could like see the Goodwill sign from in the view. I don't know. Anyway, I, this is my second time filming on the in-car situation. Y'all, I love vlogging and vlogging is also really weird. But, um, like, it's weird as in it's weird to do because I just feel like everyone's looking at me and then people are looking at me and then people are like, oh, my gosh, that person is weird. So I'm trying to be working on my confidence, reminding myself that this is my work. And so I need to just treat it as that. Like, it's not a big deal. Other people have weird jobs and it's none of my business and just like how my stuff is none of their business unless they want to watch and subscribe and enjoy it you know like unless they want to be fans slash friends besides that why why should i care why should i care so yeah anyway i'm, I'm here at goodwill to look for curtains to put in the bed like there's already curtains in that office but now with the twin bed against the window i think I'm just going to look. I don't know if I'm going to get anything. And I, honestly, unless something is like super amazing, I'm not going to get anything. It has to be like the right size. There has to be the right amount. It has to be so many things have to be perfect for it to come home with me. So I'm just window shopping. So yes, that is what's going on. And I'm hoping it's like less than $4 a curtain. Thrift store prices have gotten kind of ridiculous. Let me not rant about that, but yeah, as you know, everything's expensive and it's ridiculous. That's all I have to say. So, yes, let's go. <sighs> Wait, before I go, check it out. Are you obsessed? Are you obsessed? I love it. I think it's really cute. These I think I got for like $3 from Walmart clearance. I love me some big sunglasses. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm back. No curtains. There were some cute ones, but really no curtains that matched exactly what I wanted. But I did find two other things that will still work for what I need in other aspects. So let's start with the let's start with the big one. I found this full sheet set for twin bed. Perfect. It's 100% cotton, brand new in the packaging. It's a nice neutral gray. Love that. So excited. And I also found this really cute tablecloth with this kind of a lace situation on the edge. And I'm just so excited. This is actually like from like the Martha Stewart living situation. So that's fun. Very excited for that. All I ended up, okay. The total ended up being $17 after my 20% off textiles coupon. And 
Yeah, I'm feeling pretty proud of myself. I saw some really cute shoes, put them away. I'm reminding myself that I already have too much stuff that I'm literally trying to put away and organize and get rid of. Like, So as I was like looking, I was like, I need to sit my booty out of this activity. So anyway, so now I'm headed to the grocery store to get the rest of my errands done. So I'll take you with probably. It's just going to be super boring. I got to get kitty litter and restock everything else. <laughs> It's another day. I'm in the TJ Maxx parking lot. I just came out. I saw some really cute purses. There was a little bit of makeup, but nothing really that special. There were a lot of really cute shoes. I should have taken more pictures and videos of them, but alas, it is now fall, but it is so hot outside right now. Indiana has like a dozen seasons. I saw a really funny TikTok about it, but Anyway, yeah, so it's basically like the return of summer, and I'm predicting that at least like the next couple of weeks are going to be super hot, and then it's going to be incredibly cold. So anyway, my family's here. I picked them up. It was so fun, and I love them so much, and I'm glad to have like an hour away just because with everything that's going on at the house, I need to keep my sanity. So anyway, I'm headed back. I'm going to work more on my bedroom, more on the office. The room looked so cute. I like set up the little twin beds and, um, I was able to find some, like a couple of bathrobes and some PJs for them. And I'm just so happy it turned out well and that they really liked it. So Yes, I'm excited. So I'm going to go return to them, show them some more love, try to figure out what we're going to do all next week to handle the situation. And yeah, so now it's back to the grind, back to your regularly scheduled content. Mm -hmm. 